the member for Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Home Affairs. Will the Minister please update the House on the importance of strong and consistent border protection policies? And is the Minister aware of any challenges to the integrity of Australia's borders? The Minister for Home Affairs. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member for Ryan for her question. And every Australian knows the disaster of border protection policy under the Labor Party. Now, we've seen, Mr. Speaker, in the last fortnight attempts by Labor to introduce a new Labor border protection policy, which has been a complete disaster. A complete disaster, Mr. Speaker. What does it do? It allows people of bad character to come to our country for the minister to be compelled to allow that person to come to Australia. It allows for people smugglers to get back into business. It closes offshore detention centres, or has the effect of doing so, Mr Speaker, which would completely undermine the border protection policies that any government has in place. Now, Mr Speaker, you have to ask yourself who possibly could be the architect of such a bad policy? Who could be the architect of such a bad policy? I mean, would you learn from the lessons of the past or would you go back to the architects of the previous disaster? Well, in the Labor Party's case, it seems, Mr Speaker, to come up with the latest <coughs> policy on border protection, they've gone back to the architects under the Rudd-Gillard years. Now, Mr Speaker, not many Australians will realise this, but the person who aspires to be Treasurer in a shortened government was the Minister for Immigration when 398 boats arrived. This is a member for McMahon. 25,000 people were put into detention. 4,000 children under his watch member were put into detention, Mr Speaker, and he opened six detention centres to cope with that dysfunction. Now, he is a key architect of the current iteration of Labor border protection policy. No wonder it's a disaster. Now, Mr Speaker, he's not alone because one of the other masterminds of the latest policy on border protection is also sitting on the front bench, and he aspires to be a minister in a Labor government into the future as well. That's the member for member Watson. For he was a relative underachiever compared to the member for McMahon, but nonetheless, Mr Speaker, 83 boats still arrived on his watch. 6,600 people arrived on his watch, and to his eternal shame, 1,100 children, Mr Speaker, under his watch went into detention. He only, closed, he only opened one detention centre as part of the 17 that Labor opened, Mr Speaker. What it says to the Australian people is that the Labor Party has not learnt the lessons of the past. What they're proposing now is even worse than what was proposed in the Rudd-Gillard years, allowing people to come to our country who have been refused entry or consideration by the Americans demonstrates to the Australian public that the Labor Party has not learnt one thing over the last six yeah. years.